you will need to take regular medication recommended for discharge. For an experienced cardiologist, safe a person with heart disease means to see how his treatment goes. Doctor of RCH Althea Lysenka not only watches her patients, but also checks what drugs they use. The heart, which was close to stop working, is more sensitive to the drugs. One and the same active ingredient has different effects on the organism. Every patient should be treated very individually, starting with small doses, and each person has their own individual dose that will be the most effective. Scientists of Kazan University try to find out the action of drugs on the heart. The studies are carried out on ultra-modern device-isolated heart. We know that the same drugs may well affect at some organ and bad effect on the other. And to avoid the negative impact of drugs on the heart, we can use the device-isolated heart. That means we can test the influence of any drug on the heart. Isolated heart is a unique device in Russia. It can only be found in two universities, Moscow State University and now in Kazan Federal University. Scientists work with the heart of experimental mice and rats. They are suspended so that the researchers can see all the changes. Device-isolated heart creates all necessary conditions for the heart, which is suspended on these micropipets for its long working. In our experiments, heart works for three to four hours. During this time, we work with the computer and we get a variety of parameters of cardiac activity on the screen. Another advantage of the device is that it allows us to study the effect of different concentrations of the substances on the heart. By the way, our scientists have already managed to get curious conclusions. One and the same drug, one and the same substance, in one concentration is capable to have one effect. For example, it can make heart to beat more frequently. Another concentration of the same drug can make heart to beat more slowly. Research of Kazan scientists may be really helpful and even life-saving for people. In the pharmaceutical market, there are dozens of medications that can have a fatal effect on the heart. Potentially dangerous substances can be found in almost every classification. Yes, certainly. I would like to confirm that nearly all the medicines, um, even if to follow their classification, they do exert their adverse effects on the function of heart and the cardiovascular system in general. For example, fluoroquinolones, they cause arrhythmias, ventricular arrhythmias, which are very dangerous. Um, then what uh, else? Rosiglitazone, that's uh, the cardiac, they, they induce cardiac failure and they're really toxic uh, to the heart, that should not be used. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, anti-neoplastic drugs. So nearly in each and every group according to drug classification we can find cardiac toxicity, particularly if the drugs are used irrationally. Every day the number of those people who want to work with isolated heart grows. Microbiologists, pharmacologists, biochemists come to the department with proposals for joint research. As they are sure in the department, thanks to the new installation, the breakthrough in the science is not far. And perhaps soon the laureate of Nobel Prize will appear in Kazan University.